I think we start PS2, probably cruise over to town and city and then make our way back. Um, and if we see triplats at all, I'd be very, very surprised. Uh, getting into game number one between Mega and Slam, and it is going to, in fact, be town and city. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, for both these characters, I feel like neither of them really, really um, hate town and city. I feel like they both mm -hmm. can get their own kills off town and city. Yeah. And it's oh, beneficial for both no. of them. Oh my god! Excuse oh, me! No. Oh man. man <laughs> this, this is something I was talking about last set. When Min Min does super jump after you get thrown off stage, it's like one of the scariest things. Yes. I also <laughs> have never seen I, I have I have yet to see that type of object coverage out of Min Min up top because you'll see that super jump, right? And usually you'll just see dragon shot, they retreat, and then go for like another one. But instead Slam used the, the shot, the nair, and up B to cover so much. Speaking of up Bs, uh, one of the best buffs ever in the game. Don't ever remove it. Uh, that the, <laughs> the Ether coming through. And Mega only taking 9% on the rock too, so like pretty much like a zero to death back and forth. Yeah, this is a hell of a start to the match. We're sitting to talk about some like slow place gameplay, but I, I like and respect how both of them are playing. They're playing really smart, not over committing too hard. You always have to respect that down air attempt from the Min Min. They don't have too many other options other than landing with Nair. Uh, so it, it, if you pay attention to that, you can catch a solid punish, but Slam still doing a good job even after getting um, up like a, a solid stock follow up, keeping it relatively even. Yeah, and I have to say that Slam is playing a little bit more aggressive than I expected. Um, it's getting he's getting a lot in Mega's face, and um, Mega uh, is definitely appreciative of that because uh, Min Min is definitely mm -hmm. a character that can zone him out really hard. Honestly, you know what? That I completely respect that double shield out of both players right there too. Nobody wants to be the first one to bite the bullet and commit, because especially against like a short hop back from Ike. But there's that dragon oh, shot. You you can't. It sucks because if you if you jump there and try to commit to side B, you get hit. You drop too low. Guess what? Min Min gets the position anyways and still punish you on your rising ether because you went too low. Yeah, man, that that it covers so much space. It's insane, man. Like mm -hmm. it, it literally covers most of the uh, upper recovery angles and a little bit of the straightaway angle. If you run it like try to like say side B to mm -hmm. straight. To yeah, if you got linear option recovery, like it, it's. You better guess right. Like, that's literally all you got. Just guess right and hope that Slam screws up. Um, but Slam could get a solid punish right here. That very much did so. Moved in the correct spot because you can drift that ether back. A lot of people get caught on the landing uh, trying to get the wrong punish. Yeah, and right now you can, you can see Mega pressing a little bit. Mega's mm -hmm. running running into a lot of these nares. And you, you see actually Slam Jam has kept the Megawatt nair longer, even at early percents, because I feel like he could definitely sense that Mega's gonna try to come in. And that Megawatt nair definitely does a lot of damage, especially if Yeah, and a majority of why he's pressing so hard, besides the fact that he was trying to look for the kill, is because of where that layout was at the time. This is where Min Min's going to shine, this flat stage part, because exactly what we saw, the way that Slam was able to get that game won, was after that platform was gone and out of the way, just stay far enough away at the right times to get big damage because Ike has to fully commit in order to get in because otherwise he's just going to get caught by one of those aerials and Slam just did a good job of mixing up between the giant like the, the aerial forward smashes and the nares yeah um man uh it's yeah, uh, that 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 first that my first God. Was actually my God. That, that was a 70% good. that that uh, all right that in history that's probably going to be the only time I ever pop off for a min min uh but that was so good like how, how can you hate that look at this There's, the back throw immediate super jump to force the like to punish the early side B and then you bait out the air dodge or the jump if that air uh, jump was still there and then you cover just because they can't be, they literally can't go down after that forward air like that, that was so good yeah like he literally had nowhere to go and that up the other shield um i feel like uh but like one thing that mega could probably do to mitigate some of mitigate some of this off stage stuff is um holding your jump right that's a lot of things that's a lot of what crom and roy's do in clouds like mm -hmm. they'll hold the jump they're, they're gonna hold their jump really long um because they have less recoveries so um maybe see Mega holding up a little bit longer on some of the stops. 
Yeah, and, and now we're seeing that switch over to PS2. This is kind of what I expected. This is a great stage for both characters. Um, still, still rough for Ike to get in, but at least now you have the platforms to navigate. <laughs> exactly, just like what just happened just now. It was only a near to back here, but that's that's gonna be how Mega has to handle this matchup: finding his way to center stage and dealing with uh, Slam right there. Slam needs to pretty much put his back up intentionally against the wall to force Ike to approach at these spots because that's what's gonna make the uh, the approach a lot easier to call out. Yeah, and something that I like that I like uh, from Mega right there is like Mega was holding his ground. Uh, sometimes you see uh, players give Mimin a little bit more respect because of mm -hmm. uh, the arms. Mm -hmm. um, but Mega was holding his ground and was holding like a good roll distance away from him and kind of cornering him in the yeah, and you see right here, and also we see Tilde, who's currently chilling in Grand Finals, waiting for what, uh, somebody to get back to him, and dropping that sub. We appreciate you, Tilde. Uh, but I, I agree with everything you just said about the way Mega was handling it, and also just um, something that was commented on by Dill in the chat. Uh, it, it's really, like, it, it, one of the things is, Mega wasn't really caught heavily too much in center stage. Like, the match was pretty much even. A lot of the KOs came from really good surprise tactics and option coverage from Slam. Is that going to continue to work as the set progresses is the key. Yeah, and um, something you were talking about earlier when it comes from, like, Mega having a different play style from the other Ikes. Mm -hmm. You saw him going for that down smash read, right? He Sometimes he definitely wants to go for these, like, really hard punishes to try to finish these stuff. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, sometimes it nets some nets more, sometimes it doesn't. But, um, uh, that's, that's what it comes from, like, these type of play styles. Yeah, it's a good conditioning tool, too, because if you have, if you throw that out there, you make them scared of air dodging. And once you make them scared of air dodging, that that uh, jump chase read up air becomes that much easier to get. Uh, so like that's that's one of the things that Mega's establishing now. It's like, let me get Slam afraid of this air dodge, because if they air dodge too much, I'm going to smack them with a, <laughs> with a forward smash or a down smash. Yeah, and one thing about Min Min is like, uh, her recovery is like pretty bad. Um, as a tether, it's probably the worst tether recovery in the game. Mm -hmm. So trying to, trying to get a jump read right now, or like trying to get you for a jump read, will probably net you a stop early against the character. Exactly. Uh, Speaking of calling out a jump, just putting out something to stop, not only aggressive option, but if you happen to time a neutral get up too, that forward tilt very strong. And unfortunately for Mega, went for uh, you know went for the high quick draw the last few times, so tried to mix it up by going for the low one, and Slam recognized and called it out. Yeah, I feel like the was kind of, I thought that was kind of suspect, but um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. Kind of suspect, but you know we'll take it. Uh, but Mega right now carrying a lot of momentum. Mm -hmm. Um, seventy-five percent unanswered until that stream by Slim Slim Demons. Yeah, and this like one of the like top ten worst characters to fight on last stock in this game easily is Ike. You're sitting there, you know, scared at every interaction around this percent because everything can kill. You got the F tilt, back air, up air. Like you have to respect all of it if you make one bad defensive decision. So Slam. Oh, speaking of other options as well, rolling away, getting caught by that dash attack. Mega really kind of picking it up, and there it is, the forward air. Not gonna do it just yet though. Somehow Slam getting a little bit extra time and then getting caught on the roll once again. Uh, I'm very surprised Slam's still in this game and dying, dipping just, away from the ether. I was just about to say, I smelled an up the outer shield. Oh my god, if that was caught by the dragon arm, that, that would have been a that would have been it. <laughs> All this work Mega has done would have gone for nothing. And if oh, holding off on the back here, probably anticipating an air dodge out of Slam and Slam never giving it up. Yeah, and right now, goodbye. No! Well, yep, oh, goodbye. What? That, what? You know what? And that wasn't even bad DI. Like you saw, Mega went to the left. Like he was going, he was going the right direction. But at 104, that was a very fresh up up smash. Uh, it, like I think it was like the second or third one in the game, but not anything on that stock. So, Ooh, and that's and that and that has to hurt, right? Um, because Mega, that that was Mega's game to take, and yeah, that that has to hurt because Mega down the stretch of that game. Probably had a couple of confirms that he probably dropped or a couple situations where he probably could have capitalized, especially mm -hmm. that, that last knock. Um, that Slam Jamicus very well defensively, um, you know, held that stock. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, honestly, um, like just the, just the fact that Slam was able to uh, kind of run it back because like Mega had a lot more 
uh, situations where Mega was like kind of keeping the pressure on and Slam was just kind of putting out option coverage that worked right there, recognizing in, uh, like uh, that previously Mega went for the high quick draws the past few times. So you put the forward air out just as a way to force him to go low. And then here, deciding to commit, that's the, pro that, that's the roughest spot for Ike against long range characters or zoners is when you're forced to commit on a long stage because you're either full hop jumping in or you're getting baited it, it gets rough at that point but mega was still playing really good through the whole thing it was just uh slam was able to clutch it out still another chance though but it is best of five yeah and um mega actually uh in the previous set was that a reverse three on the previous set that mega was playing mm. um yes actually or, mega was down two games two, yeah one, um one. So yeah, Mega Mega has definitely got not a reverse throw he didn't win, but um yeah, he definitely brought it back to game a lot So this is definitely within reach, but not win this. Oh yeah, that's right. No, he still he ended up losing to the Rob, but he was down yeah. two games. So it, it's Mega has the comeback back here. And it's still the stress of fighting Ike as the game goes on. Like we said before, at high percents, especially later in the game, it's so stressful. And now the air dodge has been conditioned a few times. I wouldn't be surprised if the next nair we see at the ledge it ends up being a forward smash follow up. Yeah, I'm personally just waiting for, for the uh, the, the up the shield. Like I'm, I'm just, I w I'm waiting for it. I'm mm -hmm. just screaming when it happens. I want it to happen soon because I know he wants to do it. Yeah, and uh, Mega's also, like, speaking of that up out shield, like, Mega's really good at reserving it. Like, usually you see that option pretty often, especially against people like the Scrap, but if you do that against a character like Min Min, you're begging to get punished because Min Min can punish you from full screen. So you do that right in front, uh, and it, it, honestly, you can't even hate going for that high quick draw right there because you go low, you're pretty much asking for issues. And there's the up smash, looking for the air dodge read, looking for the spot dodge, not gonna get it. Wow, and yeah, and that actually could have been bad, um, because Mega actually did go high, but Slam Jamicus is misplaced, misplaced a little bit, or a little mm -hmm. bit. So um, Mega's definitely a little bit fortunate. Yeah, for sure. Also fortunate enough to get away from that there too. That that's such a like Slam can just do so much with that situation just by baiting out the early uh, quick draws. You can force that low recovery, but quick draw that time sneaking its way in and actually charged enough just to get the KO and get Mega his first stock. Yeah, play. and and I feel like um, I feel like he actually that DI was a little bit weird, mostly because he was holding he was holding the. Um, other arm in the other direction and mess True. up together. Yeah, kind of like, like uh, the quick draw is something that you don't normally expect to get KO'd by pretty much at any time. It's just, it just kind of sneaks the KO in. The Megawatt's still not KOing at 171. That's very surprising. That's not to get act actually stale. So it's gonna, this is, this is not good for slam because outside of like probably looking for you know obviously an air to air read with megawatt or never mind just the back hit in there finally gonna close it out but you pretty much have to look for a commitment up smash call there yeah yeah and um yeah you know, right now uh mega is working on the back but right now if he can get an edge guard right here i feel like and that's one thing he might need to have to do against uh time benefits right now is that I know I probably isn't the best at edge guarding, but he might need to take a swing, swing or two off stage because Min Min, like, like what we were talking about earlier, the recovery isn't the best. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, and I guess staying home right now isn't good. <laughs> There you go. Okay, gets the jump call right there. Um, I agree with you. I, it's a little bit harder now because he's uh, he's on the last game, down the last stop. Yeah. But yeah, you can drop down forward air the beginning of the startup of Tether because it has the, the, just that really crappy startup. And you can steal that stock away because even if Min Min doesn't die to knockback, they can't make it back after that point. So it... it thing to try right now though at 106 to 30 it, I, I don't know if we'll see that commitment from mega unless he decides to go for a swing to the fences uh but slam doing a good job of really shutting him down at the moment oh that's a jump yeah, yeah and right now okay yeah, mega's applying a lot of pressure right now and slam just down airing out of that and i respect that so much because mm -hmm. um you don't want to get get juggling situation like that against ike because that could have ended really poorly yeah. i said 70 percent 
Yeah, outside of like Mega going for the hardest read of his life with an op smash on the bottom. But speaking of op smashes on the bottom, getting another approach commitment from Mega. And at only 69% too, you're not dying to Ike on that situation if you get punished there. You take a Nair and, you know, up air is not going to kill at that percent on the follow up unless you DI really bad. So good job from Slam calling that out. Uh, recognizing that he decided to full hop in and that tried to fade away too to maybe like bait out a spot dodge or something mm. in that situation but either way that's gonna be three oh going to slam and really just kind of putting the nail in the coffin uh what i was saying at the start this matchup is it, it, it looks like it's doable but it is very difficult for ike in a lot of bad situations the slam took advantage of that yeah, and um, I do. I actually do respect that uh, additional option coming out from Slam Jam because, because like the mm -hmm. risk reward factor in that situation, like say you whip that up smash, right, and mm -hmm. Mega does what grab you, you're not gonna lose your stock yep. for that. You're, yeah, um, even, like you gotta weigh your options out in the now at that time. The moment you commit to shield, especially in center stage, like okay. If I get grabbed, I'm not dead. I'll get put in a bad situation, or I'll get, like, like what we saw before, you got called out on the jump, but you aren't at kill percent here at 69. You take the Nair, it's still not at KO percent yet, because he's already hit you with a few up airs that stock, and you're, it's not gonna knock you out just yet unless you hold in. So, good job uh, from Slam. Honestly, like I said, that it's, the matchup's very difficult. It's annoying, to say the least, but Mega still kept it really, really close the whole time. It's just that last stock, when you're forced to commit approach against a character like Min Min or any zoners, uh, it, you, you line yourself up for trouble uh, be, uh, when you have to commit to Nairs to get those KOs. Uh, pretty much the only thing you have is like back air, and even then, that's going to get predicted eventually because you got to jump.